Number 12, Cruise from Hell. This 10-day South Pacific cruise was supposed to be a pleasurable moment until some warring families turned it into a brawl. The fight involving over 30 people reportedly started when one passenger mistakenly stepped on another man's flip-flop. Instead of apologizing, these two men got into a heated argument, which graduated into a fight. Soon enough, other family members from both sides joined in the fight, forcing most of the guests on the ship to retreat into their cabin. Security officers had to come to the scene to stop the fight. As many as 30 passengers were injured in the fight, and many others who were not injured were left with a traumatic experience that will remain with them for life. Number 11. Murder Ship on January 18, 2018, a Kansas man named Eric Newman and his longtime girlfriend Tamara Tucker were among the passengers of the Carnival Elation cruise ship on a four-day cruise to the Bahamas. At about midnight the next day, Newman and his girlfriend got into a heated argument. The 55-year-old Newman approached his 50-year-old girlfriend and strangled her before pushing her over the balcony from the 13th deck. Although the medical team arrived at the scene immediately, they couldn't do anything to save Tucker's life. Newman was eventually sentenced to 12 years in prison and ordered to pay a certain amount to Tucker's family. Number 10, COVID-19. On July 11, 2011, a Genting Cruise Line ship, Dream Cruises, had nearly 3,000 passengers on board, all of whom have previously tested negative for COVID-19. Unfortunately, the four-day cruise to nowhere was brought to an end abruptly when a 40-year-old passenger tested positive on board. As a result, over 3,000 passengers were confined to their cabin and only essential crew members were allowed to move throughout the ship. The ship was forced to turn back to Singapore and the only experience most of the passengers had on this cruise to nowhere was being locked up on a cruise ship. Number 9. Viking Sky Sea travel can be fun until you get stuck in the middle of nowhere with boisterous storms on all sides and no hope for survival. On March 23, 2019, the engines of the Viking Sky cruise ship with over 1,300 passengers on board failed about 1.1 nautical miles off the coast of Norway. Without a working engine, the ship started to drift on the water, so the crew let down the anchor to keep it in place and to also avoid the ship getting damaged. Life jackets were distributed to everyone on the ship, while the captain called for an immediate evacuation of the passengers. The rescue boat from shore couldn't make it to the ship because of the high seas. Eventually, six helicopters were later used for partial evacuation before tugboats arrived and safely towed the ship and the remaining passengers to the the nearest shore. Number 8. The Poop Cruise On February 10, 2013, the engine room of the ship caught fire, causing the engines to stop working. Although the fire was extinguished almost immediately and no one was hurt in the process, it resulted in a loss of power and propulsion. In addition to this, the lack of electricity left the ship without working air conditioners and functioning toilets. This made life miserable for over 3,000 passengers and 1,000 crew members on board. They were left with little water and almost no food. And to make matters worse, raw sewage began to seep back into passenger deck areas. Years after the event, some passengers still testified that it has left them with a mental injury that will take time to heal. Number 7. Harmonies of the Seas on September 13, 2016, everything seems to be going fine on one of the largest passenger ships in the world, the Harmonies of the Seas, while it was docked at Marseille. On the fifth deck, five employees of the cruise liner were going about their daily business as usual. The five of them entered a lifeboat attached to the ship during a security drill. Unfortunately, the cables attaching the lifeboat to the ship snapped, causing the five employees and the lifeboat to plunge about 30 feet into the sea. One of them, who was only identified as a 42-year-old from the Philippines, died immediately, while the other four employees were injured. According to reports, three of the injured employees were also Filipino, and the fourth was Indian. Number 6. Carnival Collision 
even when a cruise ship is at dock, there is no guarantee that a misfortune incident will not occur. In December 2019, two Carnival cruise ships collided in Cozumel, Mexico. One of the ships, the Carnival Legend, was already docked when this incident happened. The Carnival Glory was maneuvering to dock, but because of the strong winds and current, it eventually collided with the Carnival Legend that was already at dock. Although there were passengers on both ships, none of them suffered any serious injuries. According to the company, only six of the guests had minor injuries, but some parts of the Carnival Glory was left crushed. Luckily for the company, the impact of the collision did not affect the seaworthiness of both ships, and after some repairs, the ship was back on the water some days later. Number 5. Pirates Attack In November 2005, Seaborne Spirit cruise ship passengers witnessed one of the most dreadful events off the coast of Somalia. According to reports, the attack was carried out during the early hours of the morning as two pirate speedboats approached the luxury cruise liner. When the captain of the ship noticed the armed boats approaching them, he quickly changed the course of the ship and increased its speed. All the 151 passengers on board were asked to move to the ship dining room for safety as the pirates fired a rocket-propelled grenade and machine guns. Although they were able to outrun the pirates, one of the crew members was injured by shrapnel. Number 4. Husband Beats Wife to Death an unfortunate incident happened on July 25, 2017, aboard the Emerald Princess cruise ship as 43-year-old Kenneth Manzanares beats his 39-year-old wife, Christy Manzanares, to death. This happened on a trip that was planned to celebrate their 18th wedding anniversary. However, things went sour for this couple after the wife revealed that she wanted a divorce. Instead of handling the situation the right way, the man relentlessly hit the wife on her head several times while the daughters witnessed this horrifying scene. One of the daughters quickly rushed to the rooms of other family relatives on board to come to the rescue. One of the victim's brothers was the first to arrive at the scene when he noticed that Kenneth Manzanares was dragging the blood-bathed wife onto the balcony and was about to throw her into the water. Another fight ensued between these two men until other family members arrived to stop them. It was so terrible that the beating left Christy Manzanares unrecognizable. The man was eventually sentenced to 30 years in prison, but he later died in his cell on July 16, 2021, almost four years after he killed his wife in cold blood. Number 3. Carnival Valor Accident in October 2019, a newly wed 23-year-old man aboard the Carnival Valor cruise ship ended his journey earlier than he had anticipated. He was sitting on the railing where he fell about 16 feet onto the lower deck. The impact of the fall left the man with serious injuries. When the medical team of the cruise ship arrived, they concluded that he was in critical condition and he must be evacuated immediately for further treatment. He was eventually airlifted off the ship during the early hours of the morning and transferred to a medical facility in New Orleans. Number 2. Cruise Ship Passengers Robbed at Gunpoint in February 2012, 22 passengers of the Carnival Splendor cruise ship had their worst travel experience as they were robbed at gunpoint in Mexico's seaside resort. The Carnival cruise ship started its journey on February 19, 2012 from Long Beach, California for a seven-day Mexican Riviera cruise. However, these passengers had the opposite of fun and interesting after they made a stop at the Mexico seaside resort of Puerto Vallarta for a shore excursion. When returning to the ship in the evening to continue with their cruise adventure, they were stopped by masked thieves who collected all their valuable items. Number 1. Sick Ship the Royal Caribbean cruise ship passengers did not get the experience they paid for in January 2014 as most people in the ship became sick during the trip. The Explorer of the Seas left New Jersey in January 2014 for a 10-day cruise to the U.S. Virgin Islands with over 3,000 passengers and 1,000 crew members on board. 
on January 24, 2014, about 22 guest members on the ship reportedly fell ill with symptoms of vomiting and diarrhea. The following day, more people reportedly fell ill, showing the same symptoms as the previous day. The ship was forced to return to New Jersey before the expected day, as they suspected that it could be an outbreak of norovirus, one of the most common causes of gastroenteritis on cruise ships. On the return to New Jersey, the total number of people that had shown signs of infection were more than 600 people. Even those who were lucky not to have contracted the infection did not enjoy their cruise, as they had to stay in their cabin rooms most of the time. Would you like to go on a cruise? If so, where to? Let us know in the comment section below.